What's up, race fans? It is Thursday, August 8th. This is Talking Dirty with Jake, the official podcast of the Orange County Fair Speedway. And I am your host, Jake. Let's talk dirty. Oh boy, do we have an exciting one for you guys today. I know normally I put these out on a Thursday or on a Friday, and today is a Thursday, and uh, I'm not putting it out early for any particular reason. I just I got a really great interview for you guys, and I wanted to put it out as soon as possible. So, before we get to that, let's get caught up on everything that's going on. Um, first, let's take a quick little uh, break here and listen to this ad for our upcoming Centennial Race Weekend. Orange County Fair Speedway celebrates 100 years of racing history. The legendary house of power has been transformed. The legions have returned. A resurgence. Old is new again. The resurrection is complete. Saturday, August 17th, Orange Motorsports and Entertainment presents a race for the ages. 100 grand to win. It's the battle of the century at the all-new Orange County Fair Speedway. Your ticket to history. And we're back. All right, so uh, before we get to our interview segment, let's cover the bases. Uh, I want to go do a little bit of race recapping, but last week we had uh, another unfortunate rainout. We managed to get through all our qualifying and like 99% through our Marky Traverse Street Stock Memorial race. Uh, Shaping up to be an incredible race, uh, which, you know, we did ultimately call in favor of the race leader at the time, Bob Slate Jr. So uh, congratulations to Bob Slate on that win. That was a big win, 3,500 bucks, thanks to uh, numerous fan donations. Uh, So that was uh, very cool. Uh, Just unfortunate how it ended. Uh, Just what can you do about the rain? It was quite a storm. Um, Aside from that, notable moments. uh, Street stocks went four wide into turn one. That was pretty cool. Uh, So the new race surface is proving to be uh, racy. You know, things uh, things are happening, man. Anyway, what else do we have going on? Uh, well, you know, the big news, the Centennial Race Weekend, it's coming up next week. But first, we've got racing tonight. Not tonight. It's fine. It's Thursday. We've got racing this week, Saturday night, August 10th, Fire and EMS Appreciation Night. Those guys are getting in for free with ID. Um, to help those guys out and to show our appreciation for them, we're making it 10 bucks for everybody else and free for kids 10 and under. So firemen, emergency medical service personnel, uh, bring out the whole family. It's, uh, it's affordable. It's affordable this week. So bring the kids, bring the wife. They're, you know, they're 10 bucks or they're free. So that's awesome. Come out for that. Um, anyway, Centennial Race Weekend. Oof, schedule's out. Please go check out the website. Check out the app. Download the app. Go to the Apple app store the google play store we're in there orange county fair speedway search us download that app uh it's a lot of cool stuff in there definitely get that going on your phone because you're going to want to use the fan cam app during centennial race weekend as well so please get in there use the fan cam take pictures and we will post them to our fan wall all right uh what else uh, if you look at the schedule, you'll see some things on there, like a Gary Ballou uh, lecture, seminar. Uh, it's, this is shaping up to be like a TED Talk with Gary Ballou. Uh, and that, in and of itself, sounds like a hilarious and awesome thing. And uh, Gary's going to give you know some insight into car building and talk about the process of building the Batmobile, one of the most famous mods in history. So that's on Thursday starting at three o'clock definitely want to come out with that 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 one's uh precluding the super dirt series race a hundred lap big block race Uh, we've also got a sportsman invitational on that night uh sportsman invitational means our top 40 uh sportsman drivers are invited to compete anyone else seeking to compete 
uh, is asked to reach out, uh, ask for an invite, and you know we're we're trying to keep the field limited to other area track champions or top points contenders. So if you're running at Accord or Lebanon or Five Mile or any, yeah, any of these other tracks nearby, uh, and you've been running strong. Uh, shoot us a line and uh, see if you can't get that invite. You know, it's uh, with so much going on, uh, the uh, the sportsmen just unfortunately we had to limit our ranks there with that. So it's gone. It's going invitational style, and uh, like I said, just if you if you're looking for an invite, ask. Uh, that's that's the best way to uh, to get in. All right. And uh, what else is going on? Uh, we're going to have some cornhole tournaments. We're going to screen some movies. We're going to have uh, autograph sessions. We're going to give posters away for people to sign at autograph sessions. We'll have free stickers. We'll have merch, all sorts of merch, vendors. Uh, this is, you know, this really taking shape as a, uh, as a festival, as a racing festival, a three-day, four-day, if you count Tim McGraw, just extravaganza racing, live music, seminars, history, making history, honoring history, bringing out, you know, our our legends, our champions, honoring our past champions. There's a lot going on. Um, and news dropped today that it's all going to stream online. So, you know, we know we have in the Northeast here, you know, we've been around a long time. A lot of people have moved out of the area. A lot of people's uh, family moved out of the area before they could even get hooked. If you're one of those people, check out our live stream. See what it was that your uh, grandparents, parents are raving about back home in New York. The how awesome the racing was, you know. Check it out. Make a make a new fan. Share it with someone who you think, or you know, someone who loves watching NASCAR. Say, uh, send them send them the link. Show them what we're doing here. Um, this will be broadcast quality. You know, you'll have on-screen graphics. You'll have Tim Pitts's voice. Uh, we're going to have guest commentary as well throughout the weekend. So it's, I mean, it's going to be really cool. It's going to be like watching. It's like, it's like nothing you haven't seen before. It's going to be like watching the pinnacle of dirt mod racing on TV, broadcast quality, like a NASCAR event. Uh, but it's going to be on your computer. You're just going to go to orangecountyfairspeedway.net and uh, we'll stream it right from there. So that's what's going on. Uh, oh, crazy stuff. Crazy busy over at the Speedway getting ready for all of this. And uh, we're just hoping you guys are uh, as excited as we are because this is, this is huge. And uh, we got to get through this weekend first. We got a lot of racing planned. We've got some carryover, some held over features, some rainouts. So uh, get, getting a lot of show this week for 10 bucks or free. Uh, we've got two big block features, two sportsman features, a street stock feature, and a small block feature with qualifying. Uh, so lots of racing, guys and gals. Lots of racing. Please come out. It's going to be awesome. Uh, you know, my concern is that some of y'all are saving, saving it for the, the big event. Uh, I'm hoping that that is not the case and that I'll see y'all there Saturday and, and everybody can just get even more excited about what's going to start going down on Wednesday night with Tim McGraw and then Thursday with the Super Dirt Series, 100 laps, Friday, small blocks and our big blocks and Saturday, our big blocks competing for one hundred thousand dollars to win, one hundred thousand. This has never been done. Anyway, I don't want to keep talking all that much longer. As I said at the top, I have an awesome interview today. I want to just get right to it um, for your listening pleasure. Hot off of his first ever NASCAR Gander Outdoor Truck Series win at Eldora, Stuart Friesen. Hit it. Let's hear it. It's time for Stuart Friesen. I'm leaving now. Bye. You're as cold as ice. Here we are uh, with Stuart Friesen on the phone. 
Uh, Stuart, just coming off your big Eldora win, uh, can you uh, tell us a little bit just about how that felt? Oh, yeah, it was an uh, unbelievable feeling. Um, you know, we've been in the truck series now for, for almost four years, um, you know, at various levels of, of competitiveness. Uh, we started a couple of years ago, we getting our feet wet, and then since, you know, since our uh, alliance with GMS uh, and everything that, that Chevrolet does for us, um, we've been competitive and competing in the top fives, but we've kind of wrote the book on, on how to lose a race, and um, it just felt so great to finally get that weight off of our shoulders and, and win a race, uh, especially on the dirt at Eldora. Uh, obviously, that's, that's what started us in the truck series, and to uh, everything come full circle, finally get that first win. Um, it was just awesome, awesome feeling, and uh, you know now we're really looking forward to uh, getting back to pavement and then trying to get a win there as well. Awesome. Yeah. The, uh, the pavement win is, uh, that's the big one, right? I mean, ever since you broke into the series, um, you know, even, even your, uh, rookie year there, you know, you were a lot of people's favorite to win Eldora. So it was, uh, it was definitely a long time coming, but I think a lot of your fans are especially excited to see that asphalt win coming. Uh, what's your next, uh, race in that series? Okay, so we'll be at Michigan uh, this Saturday, and then we go to uh, Bristol after the uh, big Tim McGraw concert at the House Power Stadium. Wednesday, we run Bristol Thursday, and then we're back for the uh, big centennial race to uh, close out the weekend. So in uh, in speaking about the centennial race, uh, obviously that's the big news uh, for Northeast Dirt Mod fans right now. Um, coming up, you know, I mean, you, you uh, in addition to your NASCAR Gander Outdoor Truck Series schedule, you race a lot of dirt races in the Northeast and uh, even occasionally uh, make appearances at OCFS for weekly events. Do you have any weekly plans this Saturday night? Uh, no, we, we actually, um, with the Michigan race being at, at 1 o'clock in the afternoon, um, the earliest I'll be back is about 10 o'clock at night uh, Saturday. So, unfortunately... Uh, I'll miss any chance of a, a tune-up at at, uh, at OC or even making it back for Fonda. So um, yeah. the, the truck series is, is uh, you know, getting hot and heavy right now, and um, we're probably going to have to scale back the modified stuff just a little bit through August uh, and concentrate on, on all the big stuff that's happening. Uh, we'll run uh, Devil's Bowl this Sunday. Uh, they have a big special race uh, um, with a lot of benefits going towards, uh, you know, um, autism um, awareness. So that'll be really cool to go support that event. And then obviously the big one, uh, Centennial race coming up. And then, you know, there's Mr. Dirt and, uh, the Fonda 53,000 race. So there's a lot of, uh, a lot of big stuff now to, to hit with the modified as, as yeah. well. Uh, in, a, in addition to the truck series. Busy guy. I mean, I know, I know on a lot of Saturday nights, you, uh, you rush home to race your home track Fonda, uh, after doing uh, truck races, if at all possible. And, uh, it's, I mean, it must be crazy. Um, you know, being that you won't have any uh, track time at OCFS going into this with the new surface and stuff, what kind of uh, things have you done to kind of research or, you know, are you out there talking to guys about the surface? You definitely have other uh, Helmar Racing teammates that have been there. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Since it went down, so. Uh, yeah, absolutely. I uh, had to rely on my teammates uh, big time coming into this one. So uh, talk to Allison and, and Matt. And, uh, and and Boniface and um, you know as well as Horton and just we'll have to uh, rely on their notebooks maybe a little bit and uh, you know Jess is going to race next week too so she's not she's not going to go to Bristol she's going to run the Thursday night you know first prelim night and uh, so we'll have a little bit of a little bit of feedback from there when we get rolling on Friday but um, other than that just been looking at some video and uh, you know looking at some pictures and stuff and and really really excited to uh, get on the new surface and, and everything that's going to come along with that it's going to be an exciting race and, and, you know, pretty wide open, you know, with 160 yeah. laps, um, you know, a pit stop option and all that comes with that is going to be, uh, is going to be kind of a, a different strategy and, and something we'll have to, uh, <clears throat> adjust on as we go. I'm, I'm, I'm sure. Yeah. Your, your teammate Tyler Boniface there seems to have found uh, speed in the top side of the track and, uh, OCFS fans, uh, know at least fans for the last, you know, decade or so, uh, you don't see a lot of guys go high uh, on the track like that. Uh, you you being one of the people you see go kind of higher, you know, when you're at Eastern States and you, know, you kind of see guys like you, Anthony Perego, will take that top line. 
uh, with this new track surface, it seems like uh, a lot of a lot of guys are now finding speed up there. Uh, do you anticipate uh, playing around with that top line? Yeah, I, I think so. Um, you know, with, with with you know some some good play on the track, you now you just have to have to chase the grip, and as the track changes and goes from you know bitey to, to slick to you know um, kind of uh, the, the stuff that we see, you know, Uticrome and some stuff, you know, up in, in the in the northern part of the state, um, you know, it seems like it races a little bit more like that now. So uh, definitely racy, uh, obviously a little bit slower, but, um, you know, the fans will be treated to, to a lot more side-by-side and three-wide racing, I'm sure. Yeah, we, uh, despite the rain out, last Saturday we saw four wide in turn one uh, in street stocks. That's awesome. Was, uh, I mean, I hadn't seen that in uh, in years, if ever. Yeah, that was, uh, that was pretty exciting. I mean, that's cool. So it just uh, the the uh, excitement level for me and for a lot of people right now is like through the roof. Uh, just you know, we're having uh, having so many different guys show up that we don't normally have. Having the track being you know this whole new surface that kind of just levels the playing field. Um, you know, despite that, guys like you, Matt Shepard, Brett Hearn. Uh, you know, expected to do really well, right? As you said, it, the track seems to be closer to a lot of the upstate tracks you guys are used to, right? Yeah, exactly. Uh, you know, we've grown up racing on these, these slick, uh, you know, not very abrasive tracks. And um, hopefully hopefully our notes, you know, from, from that type of racing will, will apply. You know, Orange County was always a little bit of a different beast. Uh, you know, we had sets of shocks and, and different setups just, just four there that we, you know, kind of dialed in over the last 10 years. And um, that's how we're scrambling to, to revalve a bunch of stuff right now and kind of change some stuff over. So um, hopefully our notebooks uh, from up north here uh, work out. But if not, like I said, we'll have, you know, a couple prelims and, and uh, you know, some great teammates to, to bounce ideas off of as well. Yeah, yeah. And so this uh, Centennial weekend, you know, if, it's uh, shaping up to be so much more than just a race, right? We've got all these things going on, uh, autograph sessions, uh, vintage drivers, displays, the uh, seminar with Gary Ballou. We're going to screen a trailer for his upcoming documentary, um, all sorts of stuff, really cool stuff going on. Um, one of the things that was just announced uh, last week following your win at Eldora was this uh, exhibition and uh, this is uh, you and Sheldon Creed at the Centennial Weekend. Can you talk a little bit about what that is? And yeah, what fans can expect. So it's going to be a, you know an exhibition with our with our Eldora trucks. Um, you know, just as they came off the track from Eldora, uh, pretty cool. We had, we had kind of just started making plans, you know, a few weeks before Eldora to do this. Um, it's been you know kind of a, a logistical, not really nightmare, but a lot of planning has went into this. To you know, obviously the race teams will be at Eldora. I'm sorry, not Eldora, at Bristol Thursday night, and then getting stuff turned around, getting them back to the shop, you know, loading up our, our dirt trucks, and then and then heading north from Statesville, North Carolina. So uh, Trip Bruce and the guys at GMS, Tom Ackman, have, have got a pretty good plan together um, where, where our dirt trucks, you know, pretty much remained intact after uh, Eldora, and uh, NASCAR has given us the approval to come do, you know, a little 10-lap exhibition, and, and uh, you know, fans in the Northeast here that weren't able to get to Eldora uh, can kind of see what it's all about up close and personal, and and uh, watch us turn a couple couple hot laps. That's awesome. Yeah, I, I think fan reaction initially was that they were a little skeptical uh, because, like, and and you kind of confirmed the logistically how hard it is to put together something like that. I mean, it, it was almost unbelievable. I think to people um, that you know NASCAR actually sanctioned this, that you know it is actually all coming together. And then I guess we're also real lucky that uh, both trucks survived the race and uh are able to come yeah exactly and, uh, that was that this. was the, that was the big thing everything really really worked out the stars aligned for this to happen um you know both trucks just had some minimal body damage which we're probably going to leave most of it uh so the fans can really you know <clears throat> get an up close look at, at how the trucks looked after eldora you know they're they're raced um you know i had a little bit of right rear quarter damage a little bit of left 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 side door damage um Sheldon had a little bit of right side damage that they're gonna gonna fix up a little bit um but it, it worked out good you know we weren't sure you know if they were, we were gonna have to rebuild a couple trucks or or uh you know having us finish one two is actually really really cool and adds to the whole you know uh, uh, at the persona of the the event yeah it's it's really kind of just like 
the fact that it's, you know, your first win, uh, Sheldon coming in second right behind you, the fact that it's you two guys coming, I mean, everything, it's crazy how it worked out. I mean, it's just that the, just the hype around this, it, it all just kind of came together in such a perfect way. Um, mm-hmm, Elsewhere, that's uh, a little bit smaller than Orange County Fair Speedway in size, right? It's uh, it's a little bit smaller in total distance. Uh, the corners are a little bit longer, um, banked a lot, quite a bit more, uh, but the straightaways are a lot shorter. It's more it's more round, you know, compared to the you know the fairground style, you know, paper clip that Orange County is. So, right. um, that so being said, kind of, <laughs> well, 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 uh, yeah. <laughs> So, yeah, what, what kind of aids are, in, are you anticipating? I don't know. You know, it's gonna yeah. be it's kind of gonna be up in the air. You know, every year at Eldora, we've got a little faster and a little faster and a little faster. You know, two years ago when we won the poll there, we had, I think we had like a 1999 um, time, and and this year in practice we ran. You know, guys were down in the 1920s and 1940s is what I think that we ran. So we've almost picked up a second just in two years. You know, with learning, you know how to how to tune these vehicles. You know that our purpose-built pavement vehicles tune these things in for dirt. So, um, hopefully, a lot of the stuff that we learned, we can we can apply at Middletown. Eldora has got a pretty glazy, slick surface that we were trying to adjust to, um, and that's you know kind of the way Orange County's went now. So, yeah, uh, that's why in pictures they look very similar. I mean, with we'll yeah. in, you know, on TV, and you, you see that that reflective surface. It's uh, it's interesting. I think you know we, we've definitely got something. To pick very different from what we used to have surface wise and mm-hmm. uh you know looking very similar to uh to other tracks here so yeah so we'll have to see we'll see, we'll see how it goes you know if uh you never know if, if a race comes around or you know the trucks ever raced at, at orange county at least uh shovel and i'll have 10 laps under our belts you know a little bit of head start yeah, well, I mean that's, uh, <laughs> that's and I'm not trying to start any rumors by or whatever. It's just, it's just, uh, you know, very, very. Well, I, I, think, speaking. I think people are, you know, already kind of gleaming that from this exhibition, and you know, it's, uh, it's obviously it, it, it insinuates something. Uh, what we don't know, mm-hmm. and what it'll lead to, we don't know. But um, either way, it's exciting. Uh, it's a really cool thing, and even now with NASCAR on NBC and their their uh, grassroots campaign reaching out and cross promoting with local tracks i mean it seems like there's uh a uh resurging interest in local racing and dirt track racing uh i think maybe it seems like the upper levels or at least in nascar they've kind of started to see you know where the fan base starts and grows at this mm-hmm. local level and that they can kind of start grooming people at that level uh you know in a in a way to just you know help each other uh bring fans to nascar tracks bring fans to local tracks um is this something that you know i, I would think as a uh long time dirt racer who's kind of crossed over this must seem like a no brainer to you right oh yeah ab- absolutely um it, it's good to see you know the the regional tracks working with nascar and like you said that cross promotion um it just just makes a lot of sense, it, and and anytime anybody works together uh, in any industry, uh, it's always better for the greater cause of of, of what you're trying to do. So um, it's really really cool to see you know guys working together and this you know initiative just kind of start off. So well, it'll be nice to see where this where this leads us to. Yeah, well, um, Stu, you're a busy guy. I'll let you get going. Um, we'll uh, we'll see you next week, man. Uh, very excited. Sounds good. Sounds great. We'll see everybody at uh, at the House of Power next week. All right, man. Good luck out there in uh, Michigan this weekend, right? Yes, thank you. All right, Stu. Take it easy. Okay, take care now. 